darlings welcome back to our channel if you are new to our channel we are the moody's and we post videos on monday wednesday and friday if you like what you see go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos from us and if you are in the darling clan then welcome back guys um we are here with our october faves so let's go ahead and get into it right after this intro month has been fast I feel like it went by really fast so fast in fact that I haven't even started the kids uh Halloween costumes yet but we have had some things that have stood out to us as far as products music movies books meals and apps and so we're gonna go ahead and get into those right now the product that's or a couple of products that have stood out to us this month have been one I got makeup brushes off of Amazon, um, and they are called Emacs Design, I believe. Um, I will go ahead and leave the link in the description box below, but they are so affordable and so nice. I don't know a lot about beauty guru-ness. I don't know what makes a good or bad brush, but I do know that I personally like these. Um, I think that they are a great bang for your buck. I paid, doo, doo, doo. so I paid, it's a 12 set, it comes with a little eyebrow brush, a bunch of eye ones and some face ones, and I think I paid $10 for them, um, so it's not that bad. When you get them, please read the instructions because they do smell really bad when you get them, but you have to wash them and clean them. <laughs> And then they work perfectly. Um, Another product that has stood out to us this month has been these reusable earplugs. They're called Lullies. Um, if you guys have someone in your family who snores a lot, which for us that would be Chip, he snores so loud. Um, I've kind of always slept with earplugs in and it's getting harder to, or not harder, but I'm getting tired of buying earplugs over and over and over so i found these ones that are completely reusable you can wash them um they don't hurt or anything like that and they do block out sound um or if you do a lot of traveling for planes and things like that so these are two products that have really stood out to us this month music music for this month has been pretty Lax, not much has really wowed or stood out. <clears throat> but I have been really enjoying two soundtracks. Um, one of them is the Neo Yokio playlist, which for those of you who don't know, Neo Yokio is a anime that was written by um, the lead singer of Vampire Weekend and Jaden Smith. Um, and the playlist is amazing. It's not what you would think it would be. It's a, very, a lot of classical music. And once you watch the anime, you understand why. But it is a very good playlist. I use it when I'm working or when I'm like just trying to get some stuff done. Um, it's a very easy listen. And I like that. And another playlist that I end or a soundtrack that I've been enjoying has been the Monument Valley soundtracks um, for the game. If you've ever played that game, and we're going to talk about it a little bit later, um, it is so enjoyable. Probably the music is easily the best thing about that game. Sometimes I just would put it on and not play the game, but just listen to the music. And then I thought, hey, why not Google and see if they have a playlist already or a soundtrack or something that you can do this with. And they do. I found it on Apple Music. So if you are looking for that, I will leave links to that in the description box below. Because it's close to Halloween time, we've been watching a lot of spooky movies and things like that. Um, and one movie that has really been enjoyable for the children has been Room on the Broom. Um, it's about this little witch who has a broom, a uh, duh, and she has a cat and a hat, and I think it's a book. Um, 
that has been adapted into a movie. But she kind of just travels around and meets these other friends. And at the end um, of their adventures, she finds that she has room on the broom for all of her friends. And it's really cute. And my kids have asked to watch it so many times. Um, I cannot wait for Halloween to be over, actually, so that we could not watch this movie. But it's very enjoyable. They sit down and watch it. And it's really quick. It's not long at all. It's maybe 30 to 45 minutes long. Um, so it's really good for their attention spans. A book that we've been enjoying this past month. Um, one is a book for kids and one is going to be a manga. So the book that we have been enjoying as a family has been Stella Luna. Um, I haven't read it as an adult and so going back and reading it as an adult it has a very sweet message and a message that I would want my kids to know. Um, and I know they're not picking up on it right now, but eventually they will. And it's going to be something that's instilled into them. But if you don't know, Stella Luna is about a bat who loses her mommy and she gets um, brought into this family of birds. And she's kind of struggling because she's not a bird, she's a bat, but she's trying to do things that birds do. <laughs> And then she finds out that she's a bad, she's not supposed to do these things that birds do, um, but that, do that doesn't have to stop her from being friends with her bird friends now. It's really cute and it's very sweet and I think that if you have children um, who are a little bit older than my kids, so probably around like five or six is when they'll start enjoying this book. A manga that I have been living for these past no, just this month. I read it in a whole month. Um, has been The Promised Neverland. Um, if I can, I'll find a picture. I'll leave it here. Um, but it is, it's very hard to describe what it is without giving things away or details or anything like that. So if you enjoy manga, if you like anime, um, if you like mysteries, if you like whodunits, if you like uh, Big O, if you like kind of noir style things, if you like poke, po this word every time, if you like post apocalyptic stories, then this is going to be, if you like aliens and space and sci fi, um, this is going to be the manga for you. And if you read manga, please take my suggestion, please, 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 and read this because it is so good. I read through it um in about three days like three nights time because I read before I go to bed so I read it about three nights um and I loved it and now I'm completely caught up and now I have to wait like the rest of humankind before I can read the next chapter but if you want to check it out I'll leave that in the description box below as well please do and if you do let me know and if you read manga go ahead and leave in the description box below what your favorite one is a meal that has stood out to us this month, um, or has stood out to me most, more so than everyone else, has been minestrone soup. Um, I love it, and I've always known I loved it, but now that I am vegan, or now that I'm living a primarily plant-based diet, I have been enjoying minestrone soup, and today I'm actually making some myself. Um, so I'm using, uh, what is it called? Vegetable broth. <laughs> and I'm supplementing that. Um, and it's going to be really tasty and I'm excited to try it. But I will let you know how that goes. And finally, a couple of apps that have stood out to us this month have been one, Monument Valley, which I mentioned it earlier in the music. Um, but I will just kind of give you guys like a preview. It is a puzzle game. So a lot of what you will see will be puzzles um, and like you try to get the little woman to the door basically, but you do that through puzzles. So this is kind of what it looks like, which right now you just see myself because it's coming up. Do, do, do. It is loading. Might help if I press the button. So this is what it looks like. So you probably can't see, but that's a woman here and you just kind of try to walk her to the things. Um, but then there are pieces of the puzzle that move and shift so that you can try to make these things happen. Um, 
and you try to get them to the store. It's really fun. It's really relaxing. It's a good game to play right when you wake up. Um, I wouldn't suggest playing it before you go to bed because you will definitely be up trying to solve these puzzles. The second game that or app ha that has a little blah the second app that has stood out to us, which I'm sure you've probably heard me mention somewhere else, has been the Stranger Things game. It is so fun. It's done in 8-bit. Um, it's very reminiscent of older Zelda games, so my husband says. Um, and it's a lot of fun. If you like Stranger Things, if you like games, you're going to love this game. So that's it for our moody faves for the month of October. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some of these uh, suggestions helpful or at least wanted to try one of them. If you do end up trying one of them, go ahead and leave in the comments below what you are going to or excited to try out and what stood out to you this month. What has been monumental for your life in the month of October? Go ahead and leave that in the comment box below. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the description. Nope, 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 nope. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any videos from us. And if you want, go ahead and turn on the bell so that you don't miss any videos when they come out. Um, I guess that is all, and we'll see you in the next one.